Designing a nursery is like crafting a love letter to your little one. It's a space where dreams begin and memories are made. As a mom of five, I've had my fair share of nursery makeovers. The key is to blend comfort, safety, and style into one perfect package. Think about how you want to feel in the space, calm and serene or bright and playful. One of my favorite nurseries had a nature theme with soft greens and warm wood tones. A hand-painted mural of trees made the room feel like a magical forest. Whether classic or modern, the most important thing is that the room feels like home. Choosing colors for your nursery is like painting a blank canvas. Soft, muted colors create a calm atmosphere. Gentle blues, soft pinks, or soothing greens. These colors can help your baby feel relaxed and promote better sleep. But don't feel limited to pastels. Bold colors can work wonderfully too. I once designed a nursery with deep navy walls and pops of bright yellow. The key is balance. Bold walls with neutral furniture and accessories. Neutral colors like whites, creams, and light grays create a timeless look. They provide a perfect backdrop for colorful toys and artwork. Consider the room's natural light when choosing your palette. A north-facing room might benefit from warmer tones, while a sunny south-facing room could use cooler colors. And don't forget about paint finish. A semi-gloss is easier to clean, while a matte finish can hide imperfections. In our farmhouse, we used a warm off-white for our youngest's nursery. It felt fresh and clean, but still cozy. When it comes to nursery furniture, safety should always be your top priority. But that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice style. Start with the crib. It's the centerpiece of your nursery. Look for one that meets current safety standards. Convertible cribs that grow with your child are a great investment. Next up is the changing table. Make sure it's comfortable and has plenty of storage. We've used dressers with changing pads on top in our nurseries. Don't forget about seating for you. A comfortable glider or rocking chair is a must have. Choose one with supportive arms and a high back. Add a soft throw and a lumbar pillow for extra comfort. Storage is key in a nursery. Look for furniture pieces that do double duty. A bookshelf can display cute toys and store extra diapers. An ottoman with storage inside can hide blankets and still serve as a footrest. Lighting in a nursery is so important. It sets the mood and helps with all those middle of the night diaper changes. Start with a dimmer switch on your main light. This lets you adjust the brightness depending on the time of day. For nighttime feedings, a soft glow is all you need. Table lamps are great for creating a cozy atmosphere. Choose ones with soft, diffused light to avoid harsh shadows. I love using lamps with fabric shades. They cast a warm, gentle light. Don't forget about natural light. Use light, airy curtains that let in sunshine during the day. For nap times, add blackout shades behind them. Night lights are another must-have. They provide just enough light for those late-night check-ins without fully waking your little one. We've used everything from cute animal-shaped nightlights to star projectors. The right lighting can turn a simple nursery into a dreamy wonderland for your baby. Now comes the fun part, adding those personal touches that make the nursery uniquely yours. Start with wall decor, framed prints, family photos, or even a DIY art project. In one nursery, we created a gallery wall of vintage children's book covers. Textiles are another great way to add warmth and texture to the space. Soft rugs, cozy blankets, and plush stuffed animals all contribute to that snuggly nursery feel. Don't be afraid to mix patterns and textures. A striped rug with polka dot curtains can look charming if they share a color palette. Books are essential in any nursery. Display some of your favorites on floating shelves or in a cute book caddy. It's never too early to start building your little one's library. Consider the ceiling, paint it a soft color or add stick-on stars. In one nursery, we hung a mobile made of paper clouds and felt raindrops. It was simple but added such a dreamy element to the room. 
The best nurseries are those filled with love and thoughtful details. Happy decorating.